Now, on Friday's episode of The Late Show, new host Stephen Colbert wore a wristband given to him by an audience member in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, audience member Patrick Waldo attended the New York City taping with a friend and brought the wristband with him in the hopes that Colbert would call on him during the pre-show Q&A session. Well, Patrick Waldo joins us now for more. So, Patrick, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Uh, so, you know, really cool uh, this that you know, actually happened. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the machinations. How did it actually come that the wristband got onto Colbert's hand? It was uh, not something that was planned super far in advance, just uh, something that kind of uh, spontaneously happened. I, I was asked to, uh, got tickets for the show from a friend um, a few days before, and literally like an hour before I went, just saw my wristbands, thought this might be a cool opportunity, brought them. Um, and. I tried to make myself as big as possible during the Q&A session. I felt like like this is my moment to to you know strike while the opportunity is there, and um, and I got called on and, and asked him. Also, and it does help. He's a, Patrick's a tall guy, guys. I know he's sitting down, but he's a relatively tall chap. I'm a tall guy. Uh, I was in the very last row, but uh, you know, putting my my hands up like that uh, can. Uh, can get attention. And you, you certainly did get some attention. Uh, so first of all, talk to me about, you know, people see that the, the shirt you're wearing, of course, the wristband. What's your actual involvement with the Black Lives Matter movement? Um, uh, so about a year ago, uh, with the non-indictment of Daniel Panaleo, um, I think a lot of us here in New York uh, were just extremely frustrated and pushed to the point that we had to do something about it, uh, that we couldn't ignore this problem anymore of, uh, of black lives being uh, victimized, marginalized uh, every day in this country. So um, I started uh, marching in the streets like a lot of people, just kind of found myself marching with uh, concerned citizens, people who felt the same way, this, this same sense of frustration and, and rage and, um, and hopelessness. And then I, I quickly found uh, hope in, in this community of people in New York that have been coming out and organizing and, and trying to affect some, some sort of change. So that's what I've been doing for the last year is kind of organizing with these groups, trying to make actions uh, that, will, um, that will keep the Black Lives Matter movement in you know in in our consciousness. Yeah, I mean you know of course you know having someone like Stephen Colbert wearing a wristband is a big step forward in terms of visibility. Yeah. Uh, what are you hoping that is going to happen in terms of Colbert and maybe being able to be a bit more vocal about the message? Certainly he's been vocal in the past, but you know you hoping he'll do a bit more. Yeah, I asked him. Uh, I asked him to wear the wristband and I asked him to say the phrase "Black Lives Matter" on his episode, and he he said immediately, um, "I want to give it some thought." Uh, and I don't, I don't make any promises, but uh, afterwards he said, you know, he took some other audience questions and then he came back to me and he said, you know what, I, I want to make sure that you know I'm going to try to work it in in the next few shows if I can't get it in today. And I understand it's a really tightly scripted show, he couldn't get it in. Um, but I have faith that in the next few days uh, he will, he'll bring it up. And it's such a relevant issue. I know that even if I wasn't there asking, uh, it would come up on his show in the next, in the in the first couple of weeks, I'm sure. Well, I mean, I think I think it's a great thing. You know, everyone needs to be doing their part, I think, in making this issue even more visible uh, than it already is and, and keeping it really in the media. Patrick, thanks so much uh, for coming on Half Post Live and telling us about this. Very cool. Thanks for having me.